welcome again to the Acid Trash Jamboree, a hidden corner of the internet where I show and blab about all manner of weird and wonderful music and films. Now up for discussion today is this extremely scarce vinegar syndrome double bill of Savage Water and Death by Invitation, the very first DVD in their discontinued Drive-In Collection series and also one of their very first releases full stop. Yeah, this one came out back in 2013 and carries the catalogue number of VS002, so only their Lost Films of Herschel Gordon Lewis collection is actually older than this one. But what makes it so rare? Well, rights issues, basically. Yeah, apparently somebody took umbrage with VS putting out Savage Water, meaning the DVD got pulled as quickly as it was released, though obviously a few copies did evade the recall and make their way into the sweaty hands of collectors. Death by Invitation was then reissued later that same year, now paired with the 1962 horror film The Dungeon of Harrow instead, though even this has gone out of print lately and has started to creep up in price. Anyways, let's get stuck in and see if the films are actually worth paying for. Okay, so in Savage Water, a complete and utter motley crew of folks embark on an expedition through the unpredictable terrain of the Grand Canyon. Along the way, a couple of their number tragically die. One from an apparent overdose. I mean, who in the right mind takes illicit stimulants, shall we say, to a whitewater rafting trip? And another after a fall? Plus, an annoying bratty kid gets bitten by a rattlesnake and ends up in hospital. So, yeah, so far so awful. Then, like things couldn't get any cruddier for our hapless thrill-seekers, one of the party decides to go all psycho-killer on the remaining few. Yeah, pretty much sounds like the worst holiday ever. Okay, so for over an hour, Savage Water is a motion picture with serious identity issues, flitting between being a half-baked adventure tale, a cringe-inducing romantic drama, a cheesy, post-easy rider getting it together in the country hippie fest and who knows what else. Occasionally soundtracked by cut-price Lee Hazelwoodisms from Doug Wah, who also appears in the movie as the character Leo. The common thread throughout this unfocused mess is that it's also very boring and so badly acted. I mean, even the cast of Shocking Dark could have given a more spirited and convincing performance than any of these no-hopers, and that's saying something. Things improve ever so slightly in the final act with a mixture of random murder and long-promised River Rapids action, injecting a bit of life into proceedings, but it's scant reward for suffering through the preceding tedium. Unfortunately, Savage Water attempts to be all things to all men, and it does them all fairly terribly. Yeah, as a straightforward Deadly Nature or slasher movie, it might have ended up quite fun, but alas, we're not that lucky. On to Death by Invitation, in which a young, beautiful woman named Lise, played by Shelby Leverington, befriends the Vroot family and, as cool as you like, begins to kill them one by one. Yeah, it turns out that way back when, one of Lise's ancestors was executed by the Vroots, accused as she was of witchcraft. Lise herself is an enigmatic, proto-goth sort and seems to possess some otherworldly powers of her own, so looks like the Vroots weren't far wrong about her ye olde relative after all. Well, here's a curious little film for you. It takes a while to reveal itself, but once it does, Death by Invitation isn't a million miles away plot-wise from Mark of the Witch, which I reviewed not too long back and was originally released the year before this one. Tonally, however, it's closer to the autumnal, melancholic likes of Let's Scare Jessica to Death, though unfortunately it falls slightly short of the mark of that creepy gem. Still, if you like that kind of slightly hippy-trippy, dreamy, arty style of movie making, then you'll no doubt get something out of this. Granted, it's not exactly action-packed, moving along at a glacial, meandering pace, though it gives us some blood and gruesomeness at least, 
quite a lot by 1971 standards. And the striking Ms. Leverington gives a good central performance with a touch of the Lynn Lowry's about her. Yeah, I was kind of on the fence about this one when I first saw it a few years back. Whilst it's not likely to ever become an absolute favourite, I definitely got more out of it on the rewatch. So basically, Death by Invitation thoroughly saves the day here. Yeah, unless you're a hopeless vinegar syndrome completist, I'd say you can safely skip over this particular double bill and check out Death by Invitation via the reissue if you can still find it. I mean, I can't vouch for the quality of the aforementioned Dungeon of Harrow, but surely it's an improvement on the cinematic turd that is Savage Water. So a shorter video than usual today. Hope it's been of interest in spite of its relative brevity. Needless to say, there are plenty more episodes in the works, so if you don't want to miss out on those, please hit the subscribe button to be kept up to date. Thanks as ever for watching, and I'll catch you next time on the Acid Trash Jamboree.